We are going to make a template, a pages template, from a church's bulletin. This church wants to reuse some of the basics week after week, but it also has to change a good amount. Different hymns, different people, different announcements. So what we're, we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to take some of the announcements and format it in such a way that instead of having to highlight every week and then type over the highlighting, all we'll have to do is click once to get a text that we can easily replace. So to make this into a template and to retain these formatting features, we're going to highlight, click format at the top, advanced, and we're going to define this as placeholder text. See how it turns from blue to orange. And in the same way, the body of these announcements, format, advanced. Define as placeholder text. Let's do it one more time. We want to maintain the title. So we're going to highlight it, format, advanced, placeholder text. For the body of the announcement, the same way, format, advanced, define as placeholder text. Now, under music, it's the same way. The hymns are going to change. So we're going to highlight this. We're going to click Format, Advanced, Define as Placeholder. Now, we're also going to do the same thing with some of these hymns. These hymns are graphics. You see the graphic box? We want to make sure that you don't have to take the text box out to put a new one in. We just want to drag something new over it. So we're going to highlight it. Format, Advanced, but this time we're going to define it as Media Placeholder. That way, when we use it as a template, this icon appears, you can click it, and notice you can grab any photo you want, and more than just a photo, it's taking a long time for it to find my photos, I have a large photo library, you can simply grab a graphic from your desktop, for example, Drag it over, boom, it's replaced in one fell swoop. Or again, from your photos, you can take a photo and drag it over, and there you have it. How easy is that? Now, let's turn this entire document into a template. File. We're going to save as template. Add to template chooser and we're going to give it a title and then choose it. So let's scroll on down to what we have done. And where did it go right here? Now watch how easy it is to replace this. Instead of having to click and highlight, we click once. Click once. Or on the music, you click once and the entire paragraph is replaced the moment we start typing. So how easy is that to turn a document into a template and then from there, typing over replaced text? So how do we use that template? Well, let's go ahead and open up Pages. And we'll come up here, File. We're going to start New. And instead of using the all, we can scroll down in here and just come right down onto my templates. And there it is. There's the template. We'll double click to use it. And let's scroll down. See, longer text goes here. Boom. Click it once and we're able to replace the text. Click this. Oh, where is my next template section right here? Sorry. Click this. And we are off and running. Your text has been automatically replaced.